ugly. Who? Hi Hoochies and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you guys can tell from the title, we are doing a full get ready with me. If you are new here and you don't know what that is, baby, I'm gonna show you how to do your hair, the makeup, the outfit, the fragrance, baby, everything, okay? So of course, if you guys wanna see all of that, you're gonna keep watching, but before you do that, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, you know? We trying to get up there, we trying to run up the numbers. So <laughs> don't forget to do all of that. Follow me on Instagram, cause y'all don't be following me on Instagram. Anyways, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so to start, you guys know I always start with my hair. Wow, I feel like there's going to be a terrible echo in this video. I cleaned up my beauty room, so it's like real empty, but whatever. Like I said, we're going to start with my hair. So let me take this scarf off. This is my shower scarf. <laughs> um, so my wig is from Eunice Hair. Y'all know I work with them all the time. I do have a long wig on. It was longer, and I cut it just a little bit. I've actually had this wig on for the past, like, three days or so but i really 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 like this wig uh i need to re-glue it i'm sure you guys see this whole side over here is like lifted and then i have a little spot right here and then this side's down which is so weird because this is the side i sleep on and i don't wrap my hair like i'm really bad about wrapping my hair so lace looks fire so I'm gonna go ahead and just fix this side. Again, all the links to the hair will be down below from Eunice. A shout out to them for sponsoring your girl's video. Um, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted, I haven't worn my hair like long and curled in forever. All the times that I've been wearing my hair long, I've been straightening it. So I was like, mm. Let me go back to my roots. And it just gave me such summer vibes, like I don't know. So I didn't bring my blow dryer in here because I just really did not feel like blow drying this. So we're just gonna do it without a blow dryer. So all I'm gonna be doing is spraying my hairspray. Wow, it's like lifted all the way. Maybe I do need my blow dryer. I'm just gonna be using my Got City spray. If you guys are wanting a more in-depth video on how I apply my wigs, I will put a little eye on the screen so you can do that. But I'm going to be using this Got To Be Insta Hold spray. This is what I've been using. So, yeah. I'm just going to spray along my hairline. And then I'm going to take my finger to just kind of like press it in like this. And then I'm actually just going to spray on top on this spot that's like lifted. And just kind of rub it in. And then take my comb and push it. Because look, girl. I don't have time to take my whole wig off. Like, the longer I can keep my wig on, the better. That's why I hate working out. Okay, I don't hate working out, but I be trying to really put off my workouts because my hair. Like, I think that is all of us as a black girl struggle. Like, whether you're natural, wear wigs, press your hair out, whatever, baby, sweat is our enemy. Like, it just doesn't work like I'm sorry and it's so annoying and then it's like when you work out real hard you be having to wash your hair like girl it's just so much getting sweat in your hair like your wig even worse because who the heck wants to wash their wig every day like no 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 so yeah girl I just be going through it so I sprayed that spray down and I'm just gonna like lay the hair you know, on it, or the lace, not the hair. So I have some baby hair going on right here, but it's kind of turned into some grown up hair. It, 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 it grew up real quick. I don't, I don't really know. I don't want this piece of hair right here. I'm gonna pull that out. I don't know how that happened, but um, yeah, they're a little crispy, but that's nobody's business. Okay, so yeah, that's back stuck down pretty good. Girl, that's why I love this little hairspray method. Don't get me wrong, your hair definitely is more melted with glue, but like, don't nobody have time, okay? So boom. I say so boom, I, okay, so and so boom and alrighty are like my go-to transition phrases. I say them all the time, ooh, so annoying, okay. So for the hair, I'm see, I just said it again. Okay, so for the hair, I'm just gonna like start my sentences. I'm gonna stop and just say what the heck I'm trying to say. 
anyways I'm just brushing this hair out again it is long um, but to me this isn't too long and I feel like the waves like the curls that I put in it gives it this like classy like not too much look you know but so it is long it's like all the way down to my belly button but I think it's cute like I, I'm not mad at it I'm gonna be curling my hair using my t3 curling iron you guys know it is filthy like look at this I need to clean it somebody told me to put perm on it I think that's what somebody said if you guys have any tips on how to clean my curling iron off please let me know because girl it needs it um, I also have my hot comb right here plugged up as well just so we can go in it doesn't really need it that much honestly but just in case um this is from andy's i got it on amazon uh both of the hot combs or both hot tools everything that i'm using is going to be linked down below hair products everything that i'm using is going to be linked down below even down to the hairbrush because y'all know i love this hairbrush it's the best hairbrush i've ever used it's actually funny i'm supposed to do a sponsored video with them and then it got canceled because they didn't want to work with me <laughs> but i love this hairbrush it's so good don't be trying to come for them y'all y'all always be trying to come for people because they don't want to work with me it is okay y'all but i got a free brush out of it it is popping so <laughs> moving on like i said i'm just gonna curl my hair with a that's a one and a half inch barrel i believe because i don't want super tight curls y'all know i just like cute little waves <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna use um and this part of course is just gonna be sped up you guys know how to how to hair portions go, okay? And then we're gonna get into the makeup and everything like that. So Okay, so the hair is all curled. I'm just gonna hit it with some hairspray. Don't go too ham with this hairspray in your hair or your hair will be so hard. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna take a comb and just kind of comb the top. And then I'm gonna use a wax stick to get any flyaways. This is from Aphrodite Beauty, black owned business you guys should support. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna put some of this. Ooh, I put a little too much in the front. But right here at the top just to tame any flyaways and stuff so that you know the top of my head is all smooth Ooh, not a nap in the back of my head oh I'm also gonna take my hot comb and just get my hairline how I like it pushed back that push back on your hairline is going to give you everything my part, I'm just gonna leave as is. I feel like it's pretty natural looking. I'm gonna go ahead and take my fingers and let's run it through these curls. Let's break them up. I might have to recurl this front spot because yeah, I do, because I messed it up. I'm just gonna wait till the end though. Ooh, look at how much of body and volume and just movability we're getting. Y'all know I love me a good Eunice wig, okay? If you're looking for an affordable wig, but it's gonna look cute there you go baby that's all you need so we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the makeup now so i went ahead and pulled you guys in a little bit closer so that you can see better i always start with my brows honestly i should just start skipping them at this point because you guys have seen me do them a million times let me see if i can pull my mirror in closer because i cannot shape Oh no, that's in the way. Oh. So <laughs> I'm going to start by gelling my brow hairs. 
I just kind of put the gel in my brow to start and then I like for it to get a little tacky and then I can like really get my hairs to lay the way that I um, like them to. Do you guys see this eyelash right here? Girl, I want this eyelash off so bad, but I can't like pull it off. It hurts <laughs> if I were to try to pull it. I feel like my lighting looks so weird, but it's okay. Aaliyah's gonna be redecorating this entire room. So be ready for, you know, new backdrop. <laughs> you guys know I like that upward fluffy brow look. I actually wanna get my brows re-microbladed. It's been a while. So once I've pretty much got them kind of like in my shape, I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my brows. I'm gonna be using the Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer. This is in the shade 3.75 W. And of course, a MAC 212 brush to carve it out. Um, I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. And um, you guys know, just put my brush. I like to flatten it out real, real flat like these and then dip into the concealer and get to carving. I have to get like really close to my mirror. I don't know how people film. Maybe I need a different mirror. Maybe my mirror is just like too tall and that's why it's always in my frame. After I've done that, I'm gonna take a brush and just blend out the edges of where the concealer is meeting like my eyelid. Um, I like to just kind of blend that out as best as possible because I don't like to have too harsh of a line. Um, to fill in my brows, I'm gonna be using the Hourglass um, Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil in the shade Dark Brunette. I got this in like an Ipsy box or something and I was like, hmm. I actually feel like I tried this before. Wow, I jacked that brow all the way up. I cannot see. <laughs> Like, I literally cannot see. My right eyebrow is my Walmart brow anyways, so just, just don't pay her no mind, okay? She needs some milk. I'm gonna do the same for this brow, but this is my Chanel brow, so she always knows how to show up and show out, honey, okay? This brow, chef's kiss. So much better. I love this brow. Oops, I don't know why I'm moving my mirror all in you guys' way. Alrighty, so once that's all done, I'm gonna take whatever leftover concealer I have on the back of my hand and just use that to prep my lids for shadow. And I'm just using this brush from Huda Beauty to do so. I'm pushing my lash extensions down because I don't want it to get in them, even though my lashes look crazy, girl. They are throwing up gang signs, like. Y'all, look at. <laughs> A mess, a mess, a mess. I need to get them filled. And I think I'm gonna go more natural with them so I can stop having reactions. Ooh, I need to put more hairspray right here. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the um, Melt Cosmetics uh, 27 palette. It looks like this on the inside. Super duper pretty. I've used this before on here. So I'm gonna go into the color Naked Sleep. And I'm taking that on a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M504. And I'm just gonna start by packing it on the outer corner and then blending it that way, like that. And then I'm just blending it upward and out. You guys know I like to go out too. And I'm just kind of building up. This is like a transition color, so it's pretty light on me anyways. Maybe if you're paler, it'll be a little darker. But on me, it's a very light shade. Okay, so now that I've got that built up, I'm then gonna go into the shade. I don't know if I wanna go into thick or downtown. This is downtown, this is thick. So downtown's a little more red and thick is a little more mauvey, mauvey, like however you say that. I'm gonna go into downtown. I'm gonna go into downtown. And this is an Anastasia A10 brush that I'm going in with and I'm just gonna pack it on the outer corner and then blend it inwards like we normally do. Ooh, that one's, that's a really pretty color. And again, just building it up a little bit more because this is a daytime look. So I don't want this to be too dark, you know? You don't wanna come in with like the darkest smoky eye ever for at four o'clock in the afternoon on a summer day, okay? We're trying to look airy and summery and nice you feel me i think that's cute minus these lashes but don't worry y'all wait till y'all see <laughs> wait 
wait till y'all see what we're gonna do for the lashes i'm so excited next um i'm gonna go into this nars uh power chrome hold on there's glue on the back from where it was in the pr package come on get off of here why do they do this so this is the power chrome loose eye pigment um in the shade shockum this is from nars like i said do you guys see that I'm excited. So I'm gonna take a MAC 242 brush. Um, you wanna use like a synthetic brush for this kind of looser pigment or else it won't. Honestly, this might not even work. I might need to use my finger. Cause like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but when I touch it, it's, gonna focus. it's like crumbling. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's very sensitive. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and yay, it did work, okay. And I'm just kind of putting it right here in this inner corner lid area and just kind of dispersing it. I want it to be kind of messy, um, not so focused. Can you guys see that on my lid? Oh, that's pretty. That looks so nice. I wish it was a little more on the bronzy or gold side. It's very pale, but still pretty nonetheless. They have other shades too. Yeah, I think that's pretty. So it's like when the sun hits your lids, they just kind of glisten and gleam. Yeah. Then I'm gonna take my eyeliner. This is from House Labs. Um, if you are, I'm like a new changed woman. I like felt to pin eyeliner, all because of House Labs. This is in the shade um, Punk. It is their liquid eyeliner. And when I tell you, baby. I mean, you guys know I've been using it for my inner corner flicks, but yeah, I like it for on top too. So I'm just doing a really, really thin line because of the way I'm gonna do my lashes. Uh, so <laughs> y'all are gonna be shook. Eyeliner is on now. The T on the lashes. The half lash agenda has entered the chat, okay? If you're unaware of what I'm talking about, basically what I've done is I've taken my lashes and I literally have cut them in half. So I don't know if you guys can see this. They're literally in half and that's all I'm gonna be applying. You can take any lashes that you want. These are from Naked Lashes. I'm gonna show you the packaging, hold on. So these are from Naked Lashes. I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can find their Instagram. This is a black owned brand, so please support. And um, this is the, the lashes that I have are in the style Thickum. And what I did was cut them in half and I'm using the front half of the lash because they are really long. And yeah, so what I'm gonna be doing is putting lash glue on these halves like normal. And instead of applying an entire strip of lash, I'm literally only applying them to the corner right here. And what it's gonna do is just like lift my eye that way. It kind of gives you that like fox eye trend that's like going on right now, but it's not too dramatic and it doesn't cover up all of your eyeshadow like a full strip would, you know what I mean? So uh, I got this idea or this method from Ant. If you guys don't know Ant, I'm gonna plug his page right here. So, an am amazing makeup god, like, the makeup that Anthony produces is just impeccable. And I'm always getting amazing tips from Anthony, like, yeah, including this one. If you guys remember the no foundation on the forehead trick we were doing for a while, Anthony also is on board for that. Like, just so many tips and just great artistry. So if you guys are definitely like looking for stuff like that, check Anthony out. Again, it'll be right here so you can see. I've gone ahead and put my lash glue on and we're just gonna let it get tacky and I will show you guys how I apply it. I'm pulling my mirror up close cause I need to be able to see. So y'all know I like to use lash tweezers. You don't have to. If you, I used to be a pro and could just pop them on with my fingers, but you know, I don't know what happened. So I'm just gonna take it, okay? Your half lash and it's, so much easier to put on lashes when you're only putting on a half of a lash. So if you are someone who struggles with lash extensions, or I mean, like putting your lashes on, baby, welcome to the club. So I'm gonna um, take it and I'm putting it right here on the corner. And I especially love, like, look at this. Is that not so stinking cute? I especially love this method for girls who wear lash extensions because when your lash extensions start to fall out and they're you know not as full and stuff, naturally it looks fine, but when you do makeup, it just, you need something to hit. This little oomph, I don't have to put a whole strip across my entire lash line. Like, 
amazing. I don't know what took me so long to hop on the wave. So just so you guys can see the difference, this is with the half lash, this is no half lash. So you see how it just adds some drama? Obviously these lashes are very long. You don't have to use this long of a lash. This is just what I happen to have on hand. And yeah, I love it. I love it. This one I could have put a little more that way on my eye, but it's no biggie. And I kind of like take my fingers and I pinch it to go up like this so that I get that like, y'all know how everybody making their eyes do like that? <laughs> I'm making it do it with my lashes. I mean, my la my eyes do it a little bit, but not that dramatic, you know? So the lashes just accentuate it. We're gonna fly away. <laughs> I think it is so cute. I think it just adds this like oomph to your eye without being too much. And I just think it's really pretty. So um, now we can move on to skin. So first thing with skin is always gonna be priming, of course. You guys know I have a little bit of a drier skin texture. So I'm gonna be using this moisturizing primer. This is from Glossier. It's kind of dirty, I'm sorry. It looks like this. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. And by li <laughs> Okay, not that much, I need a napkin. <laughs> Dang, I hate wasting products, but like half of what you just seen be put in my hand. And I'm just gonna rub this all over my face. So now that that's in, I'm gonna go in with another primer. I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Skin Canvas, this one, y'all know which primer I'm talking about. And I'm just gonna be using a little bit of this um, around my nose area, like my under eyes and on my chin and the middle of my forehead. I like to use it in these areas because I feel like it makes the skin here really smooth so that my foundation lays as smooth as possible. Especially in these areas, um, cause these are probably are more prone to have a little bit more texture. So y'all are gonna be really upset at me. <laughs> the foundation that I'm using, I can't tell you guys what it is yet because it hasn't launched and I don't want to get in trouble but like the way that this foundation looks so mother good mm. Mm. so uh I'll tell you a secret it is from Too Faced and I'm wearing the shade warm sand which is a little light for me um because I'm so tan in my shoulders but baby I can't I, if I go any darker, I'll look like I put blackface on. Like, I'm gonna look crazy. So, don't come for me. So, like I said, I'm just gonna put some pumps on the back of my hand. Uh, stay tuned on my Instagram if you guys wanna, um, I mean, I'll be using it again on my channel, but if you want the inside scoop, I will be allowed to post about it on the 28th on my Instagram. So, mm-hmm. And I've gone back to using sponges. I know y'all are like Aaliyah girl. The moment you say get brushes, I get brushes. Night time out, we using sponges. I just be switching it up, okay? But I really like this sponge with the products I've been using on my face. So this is the original Beauty Blender. <laughs> I know girl, and I went all the way to the Beauty Blender. But I haven't used one in a really long time and they sent it to me because I'm doing a sponsorship with them for the concealer later on. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And then I was like, wow, like this looks really good with this foundation and the concealer. So I was like, mm -hmm. So here we are, anyways. So I'm just using the butt part. As you can see, it's like dirty because I've been using it. And I'm gonna beat my foundation into my skin. So I know it is still a little light um, for like the rest of my body, but like I said, I can't go too dark to try to make my face match my body. Uh, I'll just have to do it with like bronzers because if I try to do it with just foundation, the way it looks on my ears and then like against my neck and it just, it looks very abnormal <laughs> to keep it a buck. So yeah, I'm gonna stay away from that. I think because this foundation is a matte finish, I think that's another reason why I like it with a sponge because um, the sponge, you know, the water, it's adding moisture to your foundation. Oh my God, I hate when my email goes off when I'm filming. Now I'm just gonna put the slightest little bit right here in the center of my forehead. Um, I'm not gonna take it all the way up because my forehead is darker than this foundation up at the top and I don't wanna have that like ashy look. So I'm just taking it to like the middle of the forehead. I'm gonna be using the Beauty Blender Concealer again in the shade 3.75 W. This is a very thick concealer okay so you don't need a lot i'm gonna put a little bit right there on my chin i think this is great for the summer because it really holds up um because it is so thick and full coverage uh but you don't need a lot like i don't know if you guys can tell like that i'm not putting on a lot at all like oh okay i gotta look much there 
And I also usually let my concealer sit, but because this one is so thick, I really don't feel like it needs to sit too long, maybe like 20 seconds, if that. And um, I start to tap it out. So on the chin, I use the butt of the Beauty Blender to blend it out. And then same thing for the forehead. And then when it comes to under the eyes, I like to turn it onto its like side, I guess. And then I blend that out like this. And I'm tapping, you don't wanna rub with your sponges. I don't think I need to say that, but girl, just in case I do, you do not need to um, drag. You wanna tap. And don't be putting too much product on y'all. That's how the face be looking crazy. Like look at how just, like, ugh. My skin, like my, my makeup has just been looking so smooth. Like, I don't know if it's all the products in conjunction. I don't know which product is making it look just so smooth and like airbrushed, but something is and I'm living for it. So now I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty powder in the shade Banana Bread and I'm gonna go on another side of the sponge that doesn't really have anything on it, dip into this and press it into my concealer. So like, look, do you see how like airbrushed this looks right here? Like girl, <laughs> girl, I've really been liking a matte face with just, you know, pick and choose highlighted areas. So I'm just kind of pressing this powder in pretty much everywhere, not everywhere, like not like down here, but now we can move on to bronzer. I have been loving this bronzer from NARS. This is in the shade Samoa. It looks like this. And you guys know I've been using this like crazy. I just love it, I don't know why. But the tone of it is just like, I don't know. It just gives me what I need. So I'm using a Morphe M527 brush. Be careful though, girl, because this bronzer, I've told y'all once before, I'm gonna tell you again, girl. Pigmented, who? like pigmented okay so because of that hairspray that's like right here my makeup isn't sticking to this like very edge part so like my face is like lighter right there so let me see if i can like work this in right there it's gonna be different colors regardless but okay <laughs> just pretend you don't see that just pretend for my nose contour i'm gonna use the same double-ended fenty or i'm sorry Ooh, my bad, uh, Huda <laughs> brush. And I'm gonna go into the same bronzer that I was using. And I'm just gonna do my two lines down the sides of my nose. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with the other side of the brush. So I wanna try to use this Glossier Cloud Paint. I haven't used, I've used this once, but I've used it on bare skin. So I have mine in the shade Beam. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. And I don't, oh, okay, that seems like a lot. This is the shade, it's like a peachy, very, it's literally peach, like it's really pretty. I think, hold on, I think I'm gonna use a brush. It's giving me like apply with a MAC 159 brush vibes, so that's what I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna kinda pick a little bit up on like the tips. Any kind of stippling brush I think will work well, a synthetic stippling brush. And I'm just gonna pop it on my cheeks. Oh yeah, that's cute, that's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera it's very subtle let me build it let me see if i can build it up to be more pigmented the color might just be too light though no i think that's really cute i'm definitely gonna put a powder over top because i just need a little more mm. y'all know i'm a blush girl okay i love me some blush like some in your face hi hello i'm blush blush okay okay and then at this point i'm going to take my morphe continuous setting mist and give my face a good zhuzh, covering my hairline. Then highlighter. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt in the shades Me Money and Hustler Baby, and I'm actually gonna mix the two shades, um, just kind of like a tap into each side, and then put it on my cheeks. And then I like to do the tip of the nose, the nose bridge, and maybe just a little right here. So I'm gonna take that same House Labs liner and I'm just gonna do my little inner corner liner really quick. And the way I've been doing it is like straight instead of down. I don't know, I just like the way it makes my eyes look. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can really tell to you, it's probably just gonna look like liner in my inner corner. But I angled it differently and I feel like 
it makes a difference. <laughs> I'm also gonna put bottom, bottom mascara on. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. All right, so the face is all complete. We can move on to lips, another one of my favorite parts. I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite, like, go-to lip combo as of right now. I just think it just makes my lips look so pretty. I don't know, I love it. So I'm starting with ColourPop's lip liner in the shade BFF2, and I do overline my lips just slightly. So I'm gonna, let me get a mirror, I can't see. <laughs> okay, so once I've got the lip liner on, I kinda take a paper towel and like rub a lot of it off. <laughs> and I know everyone's like, what the heck, why even put it all on? But it's the effect that it gives. I don't know how to explain it. So that's what the lip liner looks like. Then I take this lipstick. This is from Fenty Beauty. It is their, what are the name of these? Slip Shine Lipsticks. I have it in the lightest shade, um, Makeout Break. And I, you guys, this is my favorite lipstick of all time right now. Like, I don't wear anything else. I love this lipstick. I need to buy another one. Then I take this Fenty Lip Gloss or Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Sweet Mouth. Um, and it's like a light pink frosted. It's so pretty. And then I just pop this on. And it just gives me a perfect summer nude vibe. Like... Hello, hello. So I'm gonna take my hair out of pens. I need to recurl this front piece right here, but let's just get into it for just like two seconds. Just for like two seconds before I get dressed. Oh, what was said? Ugly? Who? <laughs> it's so cute. I feel so cute. Like this has just been like, I love this. This is such a fresh summer vibe. Like, I just look so good. Baby, you probably look so good too. Did you do your makeup with me? Did you do your makeup with me? Period. Like, ugh, I feel so cute. I cannot wait to go on this rooftop. If I didn't say where I was going, I'm just going to go get dinner. But um, it's on this, like, cute little, like, rooftop. If you, actually, I can tell y'all where. If you are in Atlanta, you guys know Ponce Market, Ponce City Market. They have, like, a rooftop up top. So... That's where we're gonna go and just get some a little drink, a little dinner, and just, you know. I have to stop eating out. Like, I just love going out to dinner. It's like my favorite thing to do. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but going out for like lunch and dinner is literally like my mood. Like, I love it. It just makes me feel so luxurious. I don't, I don't know how to explain it to you, but. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and show you guys the outfits. And um, it is like about to storm. I hope it only lasts an hour because my dinner reservations, my rooftop. Anyways, so for the outfit, I just have on this white bodysuit. This is from J Lux Label. And then I also have on these jeans from Fashion Nova. You guys see these in my haul. Oh, wait, let me put my sentence on. It kind of completes the outfit. And then I actually paired the bag with this. You guys thought it looked so cute. Me talking about, oh, I don't know when I'm going to wear this bag. Me, two days later, wearing the bag. So then for my jewelry, I'm going to take these off so y'all can see me now. My studs are from Target. Um, my necklaces, I know this one is from ASOS. I don't remember where I got this one from, but just they're just cheapy little jewelry pieces you guys can find them anywhere and then on my wrists i have on my jbw watch and then i got this from asos as well so yeah this is it all right you guys so that is it for this full get ready with me well actually no Y'all know I've been showing you my fragrances, so I'm going to show you what fragrance I'm going to wear tonight. I'm not going to put it on now because I'm not leaving for another two hours, but I'm going to show it to you. So y'all are probably so sick of hearing me talk about Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, but girl, it is just such a perfect summer scent. But I am going to be pairing it or layering it with Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. I'm going to layer the two. Um, to me, the Mademoiselle just kind of tones down the... Um, Islandy vibe. I swear it's coconut, but there is not coconut in this fragrance, but that's what it reminds me of. But this kind of tones down that that vibe, so it's not too much. So it doesn't smell too much like a beach in a sense. So 
I'm gonna mix these two today for my fragrance. And I'm also, of course, gonna put my body oil on, but like I said, I ain't leaving for another two hours, so I ain't gonna do all that right now. But um, I am going to be putting that on, so you know, I'm gonna be all sheeny on the rooftop, you feel me? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the hair, the makeup, the outfit, everything is gonna be linked. Ooh. Everything is going to be linked down below so that you guys can find everything super easy. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram because it don't make no sense why I got 450K here and only 260K on there. It's a whole lot of 200,000 missing of y'all, okay? But I'm not trying to force you, you know. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, check out another video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you, I need you here with me all the time